What is up guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day and let's get right into the video. So I did a poll yesterday asking you all how many credit cards you have and to my surprise most of you said you have over five plus credit cards. So according to myfico.com having five credit cards is ideal for improving your FICO score. Several reasons for this credit score improvement include lowering your utilization, increasing your payment history, and increasing your total amount of accounts. However, having multiple credit cards can be complex for some to manage and keep track of. While having numerous credit cards can be very rewarding, there may also be some drawbacks that may make you feel somewhat stressed and discouraged, like keeping a mental note of your credit cards and their due dates. It could be difficult or stressful to keep track of your credit cards when you have so many. You also have to rotate your credit cards to ensure there's no closure and make sure you never miss a credit card payment. So in today's video, I will discuss how you can manage your credit cards in a more organized and efficient way that can help you reduce stress and even lift the burden of missing payments. The first technique that we are going to be talking about is having a credit card binder. I purchased this on Amazon about three years ago for about 10 bucks. And I'm telling you, this has saved my life. I have 14 credit cards and this helps keep track of all of my credit cards. So excuse the post-it notes, I'm just blocking out my information, but I usually group my credit cards by credit card issuer. So for example, I start with Chase. I first have all of my Chase cards um, in front. So I have my Chase Business, my Chase Personal, and then I go to American Express. American Express, and then I go to Barclays, Capital One. Of course, Navy Federal, City, and a local credit union. But this is exactly how I manage and keep track of all of my credit cards. I always say a cluttered room is a cluttered mind, and the same can be for your credit cards. If you have a cluttered credit card collection, you also have a stressed and cluttered mind. So this is a perfect management system to have all of your credit cards in one spot. Um, to also add on to that, I also keep my debit cards in the back of this credit card holder as well. So I have my credit cards in the front, my debit cards in the back, and as you all know, we have relationships with many different banks, many different credit unions, and lots of credit cards. So having a credit card binder is ideal for managing your credit cards more efficiently. I will also put a link down in the description so you guys can also check it out for yourself and purchase it if that's something you would like to do. But this is very like small, it's very handheld, and you can really bring this anywhere uh, you need to. Additionally, having multiple credit cards gives you options in case of any issues with one of your credit card issuers. It's always good practice to never have all of your eggs in one basket. So having credit cards from different issuers allows that safety net in case something unexpected happens. But in addition to having a credit card binder, here are some other options that in my opinion will help you manage your credit cards more efficiently. The first one is auto pay. AutoPay simplifies things by withdrawing your credit card payment from a linked bank account. AutoPay is a perfect option for managing your credit cards because it eliminates the stress of remembering when your credit cards are due. This method also prevents you from accumulating any late fees because your payment will automatically go through monthly, never being late. So when you set up automatic payments with your credit card issuer, you have several options. I will open up my Capital One account on my phone to show you guys what it usually looks like if you are setting up AutoPay and to see your options. All right, so I am logging on to my Capital One account for you guys so you can go through that with me and I can show you how to set up automatic payments, how it will usually look when you go into your credit card issuer app. All right, and I am in. So as you can see, I have the Quicksilver Capital One credit card and I'm, I'm just gonna click it and as you can see on the top, I have a current balance of $11 and then underneath my available credit and then right next to that, my rewards cash. So if we look under that, it'll say scheduled payments. Scheduled payments will show when my due date is 
And for this example, I have a due date on the 28th of every month. And if I have auto payment on or off, as you can see, I have it on. And then underneath that, I have a linked bank account that I use to pay off my credit card every month. So if we click make a payment, you can see that I have my Capital One um, card at the top and then my bank account underneath that. So this is just showing that I'm paying my Capital One account with my linked bank account. And then if I click pay on, which is choose date, I have a couple of options of when I can pay off my credit card. So the earliest payment that I can make is October 13, which is today at the time of when I'm filming this video. And then I have my due date, which is October the 28th, and then an automatic monthly payment, which is the 28th of every month, and a different date if I decide to pay even earlier, let's just say the 27th or the 26th, and so on. But in this video, since we are gonna be talking about automatic payments and how to set that up, let's just focus on the automatic payment. So I just clicked automatic payment. You can see right there that I'm going to be paying on the 28th of every month and then the amount. I have a couple of options that I can choose from. I can pay the minimum amount. I can pay the last statement balance and I can pay a fixed amount. These are a couple of options that you can pick. Um, I'm just going to pick the minimum amount for the sake of this video and that's it. You slide to pay and that is it. So you can see you have a couple of options. You could pay the minimum amount, pay the balance in full, or a fixed amount. When paying the minimum amount, this is great if you have a zero interest rate credit card. Making the minimum payments allows you to save more money in your pocket while also taking advantage of that no interest rate promotion. That is probably the only time that in my opinion I would say to pay the minimum on your credit cards. And the reason for that is that if you have a zero interest credit card, there is no rush or reason to paying off your credit card balance in full every month because your credit card is not accumulating interest. Paying the balance in full should also be best practice if you are not using a zero interest credit card because you won't be accumulating interest. When setting up auto pay, you should automatically think, okay, I need to set this reoccurring payment to pay in full every month. Additionally, you should periodically check your credit card statements to ensure you aren't overspending on your credit card and have the funds in your bank account to make those monthly payments. Did you know that you can ask your credit card issuers to change your due dates? Another way that you can better manage your credit cards is to speak with your credit card issuer regarding your due dates. Many times if you have multiple credit cards, you have a load of different due dates. You may have a due date on the 1st and another on the 15th and another on the 28th of every month. This can be such a hassle. And if you have over five credit cards, you are looking at due dates throughout the entire month. However, having multiple credit cards and due dates can get tedious, give you a headache, and even make you miss a payment. Well, there's an alternative, and if you didn't know, now you do. You can call your credit card issuer and request that the due date be modified to the same date as your other credit cards so you can better manage your credit cards more efficiently. Another option is enabling notifications on your credit cards. Enabling notifications is necessary to track your purchases, due dates, statements, and payment confirmations. This can be done through your credit card issuer's app where you can set your credit card notifications to either push to your phone email or both. Having push notifications and email alerts is precisely what I do to maintain 14 credit cards. Every time you use a credit card, you are notified of how much you spend and at what time. In addition, you also receive an email notification, almost like a two-way alert. Enabling notifications is excellent because you constantly receive push and email alerts when you use any of your credit cards. In addition, you can also allow notifications to alert you for any credit card transactions and reminders through your credit card issuer's app. I do this with Chase, American Express, Navy Federal, you name it. Not only does it help you manage your credit cards, but it also prevents fraud. So if we recap, there are many ways to manage your credit cards. For example, a credit card binder helps you keep track of all your physical cards and allows you to rotate them easier to ensure there isn't a closure. 
In addition, setting up auto pay is excellent because it prevents you from missing a credit card payment and prevents late fees. Also, changing your due dates to one date makes payments much easier to tackle and enabling notifications will help you always be mindful of your credit cards and keep track of them. Suppose you aren't doing any of these techniques above in this video, then this may be the best time to manage your credit cards more efficiently. If you found this video informative, helpful, entertaining, and valuable, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you are new here, consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.